Hey folks, Randy here doing cut and trim. So, <laughs> I had something happen yesterday that just kind of, at one point would have made me mad, but uh, honestly, it just kind of made me laugh. Uh, the more I thought about it, the more it kind of gave me the giggles. <laughs> so, uh, so yesterday, I was cutting the lawn, and uh, it's for this customer, really, really, really nice lady. I uh, really like working for her. It's one of the few lawns I actually have to use my push mower on it, and uh, I actually spend the majority of the time on the lawn on my push mower, which I hate doing, but the lady's so nice that it's, it's fine. So, as you guys know, everything I have, I run out the back of my truck, uh, all my equipment's back there, I got the racks and all that, and, you know, there, there's, videos on here of me showing how I've got that set up so uh, I'm mowing her yard and I you know I do the front yard all the trim and all that fun stuff and I grab the push mower head to the backyard and as I'm heading to the backyard uh, uh, this woman's daughter comes out and she's like you know she's early 20s uh, lives at home and uh, she comes out and she's got her phone out a uh, huge smile. I got like my you know hearing protection on, so I can't hear what she's saying. Like I've already kind of gone past her. I don't think she realizes I see her. And she walks up to my truck uh, with her phone out and is talking and is like walking all the way around my truck, uh, looking at it and laughing. You know, and from from where I'm standing, it looks like she's making a video of uh, of my truck. So. Uh, so I was looking at that and I was like, what in the world? And and, and, and at first it kind of like engendered a bunch of thoughts in me. Like I was kind of like, I was kind of annoyed, you know, like that's rude. You know, like why are you going to go video somebody's stuff? Like it's, it's not even a stranger. You're not even in a parking lot somewhere. Like I'm in front of your house cutting your grass, well cutting your mom's grass. You know, and like you're like taking a video and making fun of my setup, you know. <laughs> so I was looking at it and I was like, you know, it made me think a couple things. The first thing I thought was all the petty stuff. You're like, oh, you know, you're making fun of me, but I bet I made more money today than you're gonna make this entire month, you know. And by the way, you're, you're, you're living at home with your mom, you know. You're like in your 20s living with your mom and it's 9.30 on a work day and you're not at work so you probably don't have a job. So who's paying for your phone? It's probably your mom, you know? Who's paying for all this stuff? Probably your mom. You're probably living here rent free. But I don't, you know, like I'm going on this whole internal rant, you know? <laughs> and like, it, it actually kind of annoyed me but then it also kind of made me laugh, you know? Because then it kind of made me think of like, uh, a video I made not too too long ago about like you know when other businesses look down on you you know like just keep in mind you're making more than them and uh, or, or like those guys that are looking at you those specific guys but it was like it made me kind of laugh because it's like well you know now it's not a business it's like some 20 something kid who isn't even working you know and they're looking down on me you know <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do with that? Well, the answer is you just laugh. I mean, there's nothing else to do. I mean, <laughs> you know, if somebody that's unemployed, living in their mom's house, is looking at you laughing while you're making money, I mean, you know, there's nothing you can do with that person. But it also kind of made me think about like just how much. Uh, the world has kind of misinformed us when it comes to making money and what what how you can make money because the truth is man if i told that young lady like <laughs> if i'd gotten out there i don't see how this could have gone anything but poorly but if i'd gone out there and talked to her and been like hey you know i saw you making fun of me but um i'd like to have a conversation with you about finances and if I told her how much money I made doing what I do, I think she'd be shocked. I actually don't think she'd believe me. You know, if I told her that, generally speaking, my earning goal is 500 bucks a day, more or less, and uh, generally speaking, I hit that most days. 
you know, I, I think if I told her that, she'd be stunned. I don't think she'd believe me. Um, and so it just kind of, it just, it just kind of made me laugh. You know, it was just like I, I was just thinking about all these different things and how uh, it's darn millennials, man. They just don't want to work hard. You know, of course I'm putting all this stuff on her. Maybe she's on vacation. I don't know. You know. Maybe she makes a lot of money. Maybe she doesn't even live there. I could have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. She could have been on autopilot and like not even realized she was walking up and then was like laughing because she was talking to somebody on like FaceTime and was like, oh, you're not going to believe this. I just walked up to this truck you know, oh, and there's a car coming. I got to go all the way around. You know, like I have no idea. I'm just making it all about me. But I just thought it was interesting. Figured I'd share. Have a good one.